thanks so much for choosing to spend a bit of time with me again. I'm going to be letting you all know how one of you has a chance of winning a signed copy of this, my book, I Am Enough, Words to Live By. So stick around to the end of the video to find out the really, really easy way to enter the competition to win a signed copy of the book. I'd like to talk to you about this book, but before I even start, there's one thing I need to do. I need to give a massive, massive shout out and a huge thank you to Mr. David Gibbons and his company, The Liffey Press, David Bain, my publisher. From the get-go, he got behind this idea with so much encouragement. He was incredibly supportive. His editing is amazing. <laughs> Thanks, Dave. And there's little touches he put into the book himself. For an example, at the end of each chapter, I have a discuss section because I feel students today, they don't really talk about how they're feeling. They don't tell their folks and tell the teachers how they're getting on. So I pose some questions about whatever that particular chapter was about, and I encourage them to discuss them with their friends and with their teachers and with their parents. David came up with an idea of have a little section at the back of the book where they can write down these thoughts pertaining to each chapter as well, and I love that. There's also a lovely little bit at the very start, and you can read this one for yourself. I do love that. So thanks so much, Dave. I really, really appreciate you. Thank you. It's a weird one for me, I am enough. I am absolutely so proud of it. So, so proud of it. But it's one of those books that I kind of wish I never felt compelled to write in the first place. I have told the story many, many times about what compelled me to write. And if you want to hear the whole story yourself and get to meet the incredible lady who did inspire me to write it, Casey, if you go back to my videos, you'll see my first student's view video, and it's with Casey Galvin, and I urge you to go and meet her. She'll blow you away, she's amazing. But briefly, for those that don't want to bother watching the video, I had given a talk in Casey's school one day, and she approached me at the end. She was very, very, very upset. Initially, she said to me, thank you for telling me I'm enough. I really needed to hear that. But I could tell there was something something way, way more serious going on. And Casey plucked up incredible courage to tell me that two weeks prior to that, her best friend had taken his own life. I went home that evening and I was so upset. I was so angry. I don't know, I had so many emotions running through me. And within a couple of weeks, I came up with the idea of this book. I kind of locked myself into this room and I went at it. So what's in the book? Well, obviously the characters that are in the book are completely fixed. <laughs> One video, a one video I'll get, and I just will talk perfectly without all the stupid mistakes. So what's in the book? All the characters are fictitious, but the stories that are in each chapter are stories and conversations that I've been having with students since I started on the journey of going into school. So you've got stories based around bullying, not feeling good enough, fitting in, and unfortunately and sadly, the second last chapter deals with suicide. It kind of hits all age ranges from first year to sixth year is what I personally think. What shocks me is the amount of adults that have read this book and they really love it too. Can you not just let the students have something? No. You just have to rob everything from them. They can't just have a book for themselves. Can they? No, you have to rob it as well, don't you? <laughs> At every talk that I give, I give away a copy of this book and I'm a massive believer in the law of attraction. And look, I'm not going to shove that down your throat today, but it's very important to me as I tell you this bit of the story. And again, I've told this a million times, you've probably heard it already. I say to them, look, if you want this, just come up and take it out of my hands. And what happens next is I turn around and I hold it above my head. And that's very important because I don't want to see who's coming. I don't want to influence it in any way. I'm not going to tell you what happens next because that'll ruin it. And then when I go to the next guild, nobody will do it. But basically, the reason why I brought up the law of attraction there is every single time the student that's come up to take that book, it turned out they really, really needed it. And I know this because oh, I'm probably going to get upset here because of the unbelievable messages I've received. Um, <laughs> when I wrote it, I didn't think it would have such an impact um, on so many people. The messages I have received would absolutely floor you. And that's also from parents. I've had teachers telling me that they've read the book as a group in their class. It's, it's absolutely phenomenal. It really is. I'd just like to take a second now to say to every student that sent me a message about this book, and just send me a message in general, because I get a lot. Thank you. You rock and you're a ninja. And they're saying to the parents and the teachers that have reached out about this book as well. You have no idea how much it means to me. Sorry for getting upset. Um, right, so look, this is what you're here for. You're not here to, to hear me talking about this. You're here to win the feckin' thing. You're here to win it. So you have to do four things. This is gonna be so easy, you ready? So number one, you've got to be subscribed to this channel. Come on, you knew that was coming. Number two, you've got to like this video. Number three, I want you to head over to whatever social media platform you follow me on, so that's either Facebook or Instagram. And number four, underneath the post that's promoting this video today, I want you to write the words in big capital letters, I am enough, and then I want to... <laughs> I want a love heart. A love heart? I want a heart at the end. Any color you want, just a big old heart. 
So I am enough big heart. And here's the thing, you better mean it when you ride it, because I'll know. I yeah, I, I, I won't know. I won't know when you mean it or not, but I will be putting my faith and my trust in you that you will mean every syllable, every word, please. So really quickly again, number one, subscribe to the channel. Number two, like this video. Number three, head over to whatever social media platform you follow me on, either Facebook or Instagram. Number four, find the post that promotes this video and in the comments write, I am enough, huge letters, heart, heart at the end. I'm going to stop doing that. I really am sorry. A heart at the end. That's it. I hope you are all okay. It's Friday again today, all day long. We do love a good Friday, don't we? I hope you're having an incredible day and I hope you have an absolutely deadly weekend. I hope it's filled with everything that you want and everything that you need. Thanks as always so, so much for jumping on this journey with me. And once again, to the new subscribers, wow, thank you so, so much. I'll endeavor not to let you down. Have an amazing weekend, folks. Oh, yeah, Gary, good man. The way I'm gonna be picking the winner. Yeah, I should really tell you that, shouldn't I? I'm gonna write down all the names. I'm gonna video myself doing all this. I'm gonna write down all the names, put them in a big old hat, go all skilled, video the whole thing, pluck out a name, and then I'll announce on next Friday's video the winner. So you have until Monday to enter this competition. It's now Friday, you have until Monday. Have a great weekend, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you all on Monday for a post, but for now, Peace.